just, yeah, we just, so if you go to uh, on, our Facebook, you'll see it's on there. We do three shows a week. I was just making sure that there wasn't just like some random guy following you guys. No, it's a perk. You're watching out for me. I did football because that's what you did in school to be popular, and I just wasn't good at it, and I wasn't popular, so. <laughs> I did go into my, I, I, it was the Saved by the Del, Bell days. I was, I grew up in that era, so if I couldn't play football, then I just wanted to look like A.C. Slater. So that was kind of my goal. I mean, I had the mullet and everything, dude. Oh my oh, good, the AC Slater right there. AC Slater, man. <laughs> Dude, look at you. Here was, uh, here was my dad. That was when he was 17. When we moved to Florida, my, you know, the room, my dad bribed me to move from New York to Florida by having a cool room, which was seafoam green, and uh, a little weight system in my room. So that was, uh, that was the start of it. Look at that. It looked like a helmet. <laughs> if I still do things on Sunday, and people don't do things on Sunday, I know in six and a half or seven years, I worked one year more than someone else who didn't, who took Sunday off. You follow what I'm saying? So in seven years, I got one more, one more year of work in. But it's not work to me if I love it. Like the thing I'm choosing, people understand, like I'm choosing to do it. Chris, why are you working on Sunday? No, I'm choosing to do this. It's not work to me. And like we talked about, it made Sunday fun because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing something. I'm moving forward. Like now with Roberto, I'll start having to work on the talks. I'll be videotaping the talks and, and just doing that until I get that hero project uh, down pat for when, when we do it. I'm gonna do the pull, okay? Scoot all the way down, Leah. Chad. Holy Lloyd. I mean, that was awesome. Here, let me help you. Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with Whitney Zeno for 15 minute fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day, or a little bit longer today. We're gonna to fuel your mind, your body. And soul? And your future. Oh, future, okay. She, she doesn't really watch it too much. <laughs> yes, I do, I just. I know, I know, so I just put her on the spot. Hey, Whitney's so beautiful, of course. My mom's on, I thought you were on a plane, mom. Yeah, what the heck? Well, whatever. That's awesome. So she's always here, she's she probably on the plane. Wi -Fi. She, she bought, bought the Wi-Fi Wi just to be on here. <laughs> What do you and Whitney do when you feel like your life is flying by and you can't slow down to enjoy life itself? She says, my husband and I are constantly talking about how we need to slow down and to enjoy life and to quit running from here to there, but we don't know the answer, so we just keep talking about it over and over again. It's so often that people say, well, I'm trying to keep my overhead low, but you don't realize you're trying to keep your overhead low and you're running around like a chicken with your head yeah. cut off, you're, you're actually losing your greatest commodity, which is time. Find out what are you, what are the reasons you're running to, and you know, there's so many um, different things that you need to look at and assess and say, okay, are these really necessary things that we're doing? Um, or is it something that's meaningful and purposeful and that's going to matter in five or ten years? So if I had one hour or a half hour of my day, I am most effective as a human being on this planet, you know, adjusting patience and speaking truth into people's lives. So if you're at your job, say, what are you the best at? And don't say everything. What is your thing, your groove that you do best at and you love to do? That's what you stick to. At this moment in time, you guys chose to be here watching us. We chose to be doing this. So. We take this so, we're so grateful because your greatest commodity, which is your time, you chose to spend with us and we yeah. spent to chose with awesome. you. So this is a lifetime legacy impactful thing. You could be doing everything else, but we're honored that you were here and vice versa. And so I guess efficiency is the key. How can I be more efficient with my time to get more work done? What's up, my man? My man, what up, G? What are you What's doing, bud? Fun? Good to see you. Congratulations on Sophia. Yeah, I was so stoked, buddy. So stoked, man. 
Roberto, I realize that your story could have never been planned. I, no one's story is ever planned. It can't be. It never was. So the unknowns make the story. You think I wanted to get sick? You think I wanted to, my, just think my chiropractic school lost its accreditation. The freaking school failed. I had to move to, Houston. I had to move to Dallas, Texas. And at Dallas, Texas, I meet my wife. And then we go to Houston. I mean, like, like the whole thing, we have, we think we have control. We only have control of what we do when the unknowns hit our lives. You know, we all want to be this or that. But I think when you go through that little journey, you actually find out who you really are. Because imagine Roberto, if I said, Roberto, um, let's say, Roberto, so what were you doing when you were 20? Like it wasn't who you thought you were, and who knows at 20 what you thought you wanted to be. So you, right now, you're not what you wanted to be. You went through it, and this is who you are. You're a world-class influencer. I see you on stages in front of thousands of people, leading people. That's who you really are. Like you're, you're, aware, you're aware that it was in you the whole time. Like you, the, the creativity, the imagination, the accepting that it's okay to be admired. Oh, it went great. So emotional, man. Because it's like you're digging deep, you know? And Roberto's so good, you know? He's like your guide. Roberto, you know, see that picture? I love that picture of his, you know, he's rocking it, you know? That was a bank teller. Just think, at 25, he thought, well, I'm gonna work in a bank. And that was his job. But he had no clue of who he would really be created to be. And now he's living a, a, the, the more, you know, true version of who he was created to be.